I just like to say how very appropriate I think it is that the Fine Arts Museum here is becoming a peace museum because the arts, the fine arts, know more than anything that the arts do flourish in times of peace and the pillages of war are so destructive to the arts as the Maltese people found out through such pain when Napoleon's soldiers ravaged um, Malta. It's always the arts that suffer during war aside from other things and the arts are the highest expression of mankind, and mankind is not expressing himself in a very high manner during times of war. He's in a very defensive mode at that time, so it is only through peace, individual peace and collective peace, that the arts really can flourish here on Earth. Um, the Jarnakala Foundation was founded because Sri Chinmoy um, is such a prolific artist. He's produced thousands of paintings, and they're all along the same theme of inner joy, inner peace, inner harmony. These things which unite humanity in a very positive way, and those things which humanity really thrives upon to be a healthy society. And I would say that in all the exhibitions that we've had of the Jarnakala paintings of Sri Chinmoy, um, I've gone through all the guest books, I think, of almost every exhibition. And the thread that runs so true is that people leave the exhibition more uplifted, happier, more joyful, more optimistic, with a hope for the future. And I think that's the basic expression of Sri Chinmoy's art. And I'm so very pleased that Sri Chinmoy has agreed to donate two of his paintings to the museum here, the Museum of Fine Arts here in Malta. I think it's in perfectly good company. His works are in many places, amongst which are the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, where his, one of his works is in the permanent collection there. Um, there are many places in which um, his artworks have been displayed and kept in permanent places such as government offices, mayor's offices, um, international dignitaries. But this place, more than any place, I think is such a befitting place because Malta is the place of peace and is the place where the inner flame still burns very brightly and deeply within the people. A flame of truth, a flame of love, and a flame of devotion to the divine. And I think it is so fitting that Sri Chinmoy's artwork and could come and stay in your museum. Thank you. Dr. Guder had agreed to honor him in this way. He called New York and asked them to bring two of his paintings, and a, a Catholic priest carried them on his lap across the ocean and delivered them right to our hotel. And so now they're going to be hanging in this beautiful museum. It's hereby dedicated as the first Sri Chinmoy Peace Museum of Fine Arts. In, in dedicating the Valletta Museum of Fine Arts as a Sri Chinmoy Peace Museum, we offer our fondest hopes that the fineness of the spirit and the beauty of the oneness heart will spread throughout every community in Malta and throughout the world. This Sri Chinmoy Peace Museum joins over 350 cities, towns, bridges, lakes, schools, ships, trains, parks, gardens, trees, and running trails dedicated to peace. In over 20 countries worldwide, Sri Chinmoy is a prolific artist who has been recognized by governments around the world, including the Parliament of Malta, as an international ambassador of peace, who has dedicated his life to the pursuit of world harmony and the fulfillment of the unlimited potential of the human spirit. Dedicated 28 December 1991, 
and it's it will be inscribed with the Minister of Education, Dr. Milsud Bonici, uh, the, our director, Dr. Tan Cred Guder, and the curator, uh, Mr. Dominic Kutajar. And the final, at the bottom of the plaque, is one of three Chinmoy's aphorisms that's dedicated to this museum. It was written just for the Malta Museum of Fine Arts. Art is humanity's ascending, awakening, aspiration cry. Art is divinity's descending, flowering, manifestation smile. 